Hello and welcome to FOMO. My name is Paul Tranny and these are the features and tips that you might have missed out on. And I'm going to show you how you can navigate around a file so you can work faster as well as navigating the layers panel, which is very important. You can see actually it doesn't do me a lot of good because guess what? I didn't name my layers. I don't know what this stuff is, right? I really can't tell. Well, guess what? You can go to the flyout menu down to panel options. As I select that, we have this option right here. Show me the thumbnail contents for the layer bounds. So I'm actually going to turn that on and watch off to the side instead of that looking blank. Oh, I could see that's where the sparkles are, right? That's where they are. And if you have the latest version of Photoshop, hold down that option key, click on that layer thumbnail, and you can zoom right to that particular highlight in this case. And I can move that into position kind of like that. Okay, and I can do this for any of these layers. Just bounce around this file just by holding down the option key and clicking on those layers. Command zero, bring you back out and you can start working, okay? And in this case, rather than using the layers panel to navigate, what I can do is I can go right over here and um, I might wanna know where this layer is because this is the object I need to work on. Well. With the move tool selected, you can see right up here, you can hold on the command key and that will give you this auto select toggle. Toggling it on, I roll over this object. Oh, that's it. Clicking on it. Oh, it highlights it. And guess what? I can kind of move that around, do what I need to do all by holding down the command key. Okay, and as your files get more complex, you're going to want to kind of sort through this layers panel, make it a little easier on yourself. And you can right up here at the top. I can say, hey, you know what, just show me the adjustment layers, okay? So none of the pixel layers or any of those other layers, see them right in here because I happen to have some layers that I wanna turn on to make this black and white and give this a little more contrast just like that. Makes it look more dramatic. And now you're in the know. Thank you so much for watching.